Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And um, today I'm going to be setting up my home life planner, my thick and juicy home life planner for the week of the 12th through the 18th. This is the second weekend or second week in December. Well, second full week in December, we did have, you know, that first week in um, the month that had a little bit of November spilling over. This was my, um, the last big plan with me that I filmed. I think it turned out really cute, very calming, very neutral. I love these soft colors. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh my goodness, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm gonna be setting up the 12th through the 18th and I've decided to go with a blue-toned winter theme just because I feel like I have to do all of the winter variations. I already got into um, the classic Christmas, red and green Christmas theme here. Um, this was last week or the current week. It's currently the 10th. I did not film this because I was super, super busy last weekend and I wasn't able to film any videos. And so I just ended up doing this off camera by myself with some beautiful scrapbook paper, some of that same scrapbook paper that I used to decorate the divider. I mean the, um, the December divider. Yes, that's what this is called. <laughs> and um, I also used some stickers from this book right here, the the Mega Mickey and Minnie Seasonal sticker book, the large one with all these large decorative stickers. I go back and forth on whether I really like this size of sticker book or whether I don't. And right now I'm really liking them. <laughs> I grabbed um, these three stickers from this um, seasonal sticker book and I just had to use these stickers because we actually set up our tree on December 5th and so I really wanted to have the spread kind of commemorate that and I just wanted to dive into fun Christmas stickers and Christmas decoration. My house is all set up. My boyfriend Steven is actually hanging up the lights as we speak, so I'm really, really excited. Thank you, Steven. And I just love how it turned out. And this is one of those spreads that I worked on as the week progressed. A lot of the times I feel like we think that spreads, the majority of them are done when we finish like putting down the stickers and all we have to do is write in our plans. But I rarely set up my spreads like that. I rarely plan like that. I usually put down a good amount of stickers and then as the week progresses, I add even more stickers and I, of course, write in my planner. So when I first set the spread up, it looked really, really empty. And then as the week progressed, it just kept on filling up. I added a bunch more stickers. And then I love how it turned out. And I'm just loving my lighting situation right now. I have the overhead ring light and two odd lights just beaming down on my planner. So I think everything looks nice and bright, but let me know if you notice the lighting difference because I'm very excited about it. And if you hear any noises in the background, that's my pug Daisy just being a goober and I don't know, rolling around on my bed and making a fuss for no reason whatsoever, except that she's a puppy. Anyways, I need to set up um, the 12th through the 18th and I am going to be using the same Disney seasonal book just because I love these stickers so much and I think I'm going to be using this page right here. This is more of the blue winter aesthetic and I just want to do like a blue winter spread. So I also have some scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper I got from a, I think it's called Paper May. I forget what the Joann's brand of um, scrapbook paper is, but I got um, like a seasonal pack of scrapbook paper from Joann's and I really really like that pack because it has so many different designs. It's a super thick book. I actually got it on a Black Friday for their Black Friday deals when all of their scrapbook packs were at 50% off. Normally that scrapbook pack is I believe 18 or 19 and so I got it for eight to nine dollars. I actually didn't buy a lot of stickers for Black Friday. I bought a couple, but mostly what I ended up buying was a scrapbook paper because all of it was 50% off for the packs. 
So I got this blue snowflake design and also this like winter trees um, design. We'll see which ones I use. I might use both, but I have that. Um, and then I also have my regular Disney Mickey and Minnie seasonal sticker book. Um, so I will be pulling for the winter section and I've actually used quite a bit of these already. And I've noticed that some of these pages are kind of mixed. Like this is a Valentine's Day sticker. These two I feel like are spring stickers. This one is a winter sticker. So that one's kind of mixed. Same with this one. I feel like they have some winter stickers sprinkled throughout. This is spring. And then there's skating right here. So that's a winter sticker. I feel like this sticker could be winter. I feel like them skating like this with all the hearts kind of gives me Valentine's Day. But I think it could be... Um, winter and then we have this sticker which is Mickey and Minnie in front of the Christmas tree and then I think we have these Mickey and Minnie heads which I don't know maybe some of them could be for winter the one with the little daisy on the heads I feel like that's much more spring but I don't know so we'll see what I can pull out of this book I already have used quite a bit of the winter stickers but I just grabbed this um, because I want to use as many of these winter stickers as possible and then of course I had to grab my mega um, winter and Christmas sticker pack. This is a huge sticker pack of, of Happy Planner stickers that I've collected from various sticker books and these are all like my Christmas um, and winter stickers and I have so many different sticker books just kind of hodgepodge into here. I've pulled out all of my like winter stickers from all of my seasonal books and just tossed them into this one mega sticker pack and I just like reaching for it for any winter and Christmas related spreads. So I have this here with me. And now let's get into it. I actually might pull out these pages. I usually like to plan with the pages in like on the discs, but in this case, my my divider is so thick with those 3D, like super cute 3D glittery um, stickers that it's a little hard to write on, so I have to pull out the pages when I want to write on this left-hand side. With a couple of more pages, I think it'll be, it'll be okay to write on, like the pages between those stickers and where I'm writing the amount is going to be thick enough to allow me to write, but I think we need like a few more pages before we get to that level. So let me put that away and then set up these pages. Okay, I think this is good. Again, my filming setup right now is really, really different from what I'm used to and I really like it. It's very easy to set up, but I'm still make, like new to the whole setup so i'm sorry if things are a little bit wonky at times it's just been like a learning curve to set up the uh the new filming situation i really want to put these winter like birch trees on the sidebar so i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna use my adhesive here to just lay down some glue all across the sidebar and then I can lay down the scrapbook paper and then just use scissors to trim the excess off the sides. I kind of want to do the same thing like on the other side. Like cover up Sunday here so that it kind of gives us that, you know, in the winter woods vibe. What do you think about that? Should I do it? Let's do it. I always like trying different things in my planner and thinking outside of the box, so let's do it. Ooh, I do really like that, I do like it. Okay, and then this scrapbook paper here, um, you know something that I've been wanting again is that big Happy Planner box punch that can punch out boxes that fit the big happy planner. I think that would be something that would benefit my crafting hobby right now because I'm wondering where to put this scrapbook paper. I think it would be fun to like to cut out boxes of the scrapbook paper and then fit them here like throughout the spread. I think that would be really really cute um, but because I don't have that punch I feel like I'm going to have to 
manually cut them which I guess we can do I guess we can do it I'm being lazy but I guess we can do it okay I kind of want to be lazy and just use my ruler to draw straight lines and then cut where they intersect but you know I do have my ruler here so I guess I could measure the box and see how wide it is it's actually a little under five centimeters and then in terms of height it is exactly eight centimeters okay that's really interesting so if I mark out eight centimeters here and then maybe right there okay and then let's repeat the process for another row so eight centimeters and then eight centimeters over here okay um these aren't perfect but i think we shall do these are my boxes i made eight let's see i was thinking of like sprinkling them throughout the spread like so maybe four on each page kind of alternating them perhaps something like this okay i really really like that i love that maybe i'll move this one over here there i like it okay let's glue those down wow it's super cute i like it it's different it's definitely different but i always like to try new things out so i'm happy that i did this um let's see if i'll ever do this again like do make boxes out of scrapbook paper like this it's actually not too difficult so i think i'm gonna start off with laying down these stickers because they're so big i definitely want to like make room for them um let's see i think maybe this one's so cute maybe right here <gasps> so adorable i kind of like it over here honestly let's lay it down okay there we go and then let's grab this one and maybe i'll put this one right here I really want to use like all of the stickers on this sheet so let's just pull this sheet and try to use them all so let's grab this one i like this one right there life is wonderful let's grab this quote maybe put it right here and actually i have some washi tape that i'm thinking of putting down here at the bottom and it's a little thin to cover the entire section so i'm thinking of layering it so i'm thinking of laying down like a strip like this and then doing the same thing on the other side and then using the other washi tape to kind of make up that empty space there and both of these washies are from Simply Gilded. I was on their subscription list for a few months um, this year and I loved, I loved it. I wish I could go back on the subscription service, honestly, but it was just so much washi that I felt like I was stockpiling washi and I was never going to get through all of it. And so it was nice to be able to experience simply gilded and i got like a bunch of amazing washi so i definitely thought it was worth it and i got a lot of stickers and pens as well but i felt like i could not um keep up with it so i i canceled it after a few months and i just really really love their designs i feel like of all my washi i reach for the simply gilded washi the most so the last stickers that i have um on this sheet are these snowflake stickers so i think i'm gonna sprinkle them like here at the top 
I love um, small stickers like this for the top specifically because I always find that the top section up here where the dates are is always so plain and boring and I like stickers like this because it kind of allows you to sneak some stickers up there so I'll just go ahead and sprinkle them um, here at the top And we finish this page completely so I can toss that and actually I am thinking that I have some like fo silver foil snowflake stickers um, ah here we go exactly these are from I believe the essential seasons sticker book let me see if I can push my pen case a little bit more okay there we go yeah, these are from the Essential Seasons sticker book, I think. Um, but I think it'd be fun to layer just like a little bit of the gold, I mean the silver foil at the top here. So something like that. And then these can go over the date stickers because I can see through. Let's just put that there. And I think that's good enough. A little bit messy but I love it. Okay so this is the base of the spread and now I'm gonna add all the functional elements to the spread and let's see let me grab my Mickey seasonal. So this is that winter sticker that I was thinking about. It is the same design as this larger one so I think I'll skip this one for now. I'll use it in another spread some other day but oh, same with the sticker it has the same design. Let's see. And we have Mickey and Minnie skating, which I have the same design here. So it's also another sticker that I might not reach for. Same with this one. Like I have the same design. Usually I'm not someone who cares about having the same design on the page more than once. But in some cases, especially when the design is this large, I do kind of want to make sure that I'm diversifying my stickers. So I will add a checklist, I think, right here. Always love checklists for functional to-dos. Let's see, is there anything else I wanna add? Another blue checklist right here. Let's add this one over here. And I actually don't see any functional things that I want from the Disney sticker book. So the next thing to do is look for functional boxes and functional stickers in my winter sticker book. Um, see, I really like these blue foiled stickers, but I feel like it's a little bit too bright of a blue. I'm going to be looking for boxes mostly here. Uh, like blue boxes. And I always have Mojo Jojo's blue boxes that I can pull for if I can't find any winter boxes in this pack. Ooh, look at this sticker right here. I think this sticker would go really well with this, with this spread, but I actually um, feel like I already created like a bunch of boxes already, so I don't really need that one. And I see these nice blue foil snowflakes on this page, and I'm thinking of adding a few at the top. I like these because they're a lot smaller, so they fit really, really well. Love it. Okay, so let's flip through this. Mm. I really like these silver foil quotes, so I'm thinking of using one. Winter memories. Maybe I'll add this one like right here. Winter memories. Ooh, this is a uh, box that I want to pull. It's blue and it's functional. So let's put this one over here. Love it. Oh, perfect. This one is also blue and has a little like mistletoe motif and a foiled ho 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 there at the bottom. Perfect. And 
this would be nice to add right here. I could set up a to-do list over there. I like this Let's Go Sledding sticker and it's the last one on this page. So I'm thinking of maybe, um, maybe I will go sledding this week. Maybe I'll make it a point to go sledding. Let's put this right here. Let's go sledding. Okay, so these are perfect. I could definitely use one of these blue boxes. It says notes. I can add that right here. Oh, perfect. Look at that. This is excellent. Oh, I don't know if I have space for a double box like this. Ooh, I really want to use some of these stickers, like the snowflake sticker. <gasps> I think it would go really, really well with this theme. It's a little bit darker. It might be too dark, honestly. Let's put it back. I could always use these full boxes for their own spread because they look so well together. Ooh, I love that winter day. Oh, this sticker looks really, really good. Snow day. I might have to use this sticker. I might put this up here. Or over here. Or should I put it over here? Yeah, I think I might put it over here. Snow day. Because I really don't want to put too much stuff on the trees because I like the look of that like winter woodland scene. So I'm trying to avoid putting things on the woods. Okay, look at this. These stickers were from the old Happy Planner Winter sticker book, which was such a good sticker book. But this one has snowflakes on it. I think that's perfect. Let's put this up here. Oh, and in terms of what's going on this week, not too much. Monday through Friday, I'm gonna be just working, not doing too much. Oh, I think Monday I have dinner with my family. I have to double check that. But Monday I have dinner with family, and then Saturday I'm hiking with a friend in Los Angeles, and then Sunday is my brother's birthday, actually, and also not sure what else is going on, but might be hanging out with friends. Okay, and so going back to this, I feel like I'm running out of room, but I really, really like this sticker right here. It's winter vibe sticker with a little sled, and I feel like this whole spread is very much like, like a, a wintry spread. So let's put this one right here. Ooh, I kind of want to reach for these like clear hot cocoa stickers. Let me grab one. Um, let's see, where should I put this one? Maybe I should put it right here. Very cute. Okay, going back to my sticker book. Let's see. I feel like I have room right here and right here to do some things. Ooh, I do really like this page of clear stickers. I feel like this warm winter wishes quote sticker would look really good on this page. Let's see. Ooh, I would like to put, oh, maybe, I kind of want to put it here, or maybe right here. Let's put it right there. Love it. And it'd be fun to sprinkle some snowflakes kind of throughout the spread as well, not just have them there at the top. Like so. Okay, I think we're reaching capacity. We're getting there, we're getting there. So let's see. I kind of want to put another one of these functional boxes, um, the arched boxes up here. And I wonder if I can peel up this Let's Go Sledding sticker. Perfect. And I'll grab this Snow Day sticker and pop that, I think, maybe right there and it would be fun to grab a skater girl and maybe put her in here in the corner okay we've reached the end of my mega christmas sticker pack and i also feel like we're definitely reaching capacity here the one last thing i want to do though is put something here Maybe what I could do is use this box with a tree on it and then layer it right here. 
That way I can leave this box open for, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just grab one of these focus on stickers and then maybe, I kinda wanna put a little pair of skates here. I had some, I saw some skates somewhere along here. I also really like this penguin sledding. I don't think I have room for that penguin though anymore. Ooh, I really like this drinking hot cocoa sticker. Let's put that. Cause you have to have the hot cocoa when you're out sledding. Maybe I'll put this one right there. I also really like this this box with the gifts on it. It's a small one, so I think I can sneak it in here somewhere. Maybe like over here. Ooh, I kind of want to move it a little bit, like so. <gasps> now it's crooked. Lord help me. Okay, there we go. Okay, I just want to find those skates and add them right here, and I swear I will be done. Where are those skates? Finally, here are the skates. Oh my goodness, I've been like flipping through this book forever trying to find that page. Okay, so I have the skates here, which I'm gonna just pop right there in the corner. And while I was looking for the skates, I found these four stickers that I wanted to use. So I'm thinking of putting a bah humbug and silver foil right there. And then I have this little red robin, which I think will be super, super cute to add somewhere here. Maybe like right there. And then this little coffee cup. Um, Maybe I'll put the, these gloves here. And then this coffee cup maybe like right there. And I think we're done. I think we're good. I think I have to step away from the page but I love it. I think it looks super, super cute. It turned out a lot better than I expected to. And honestly, I'm not a huge lover of the color blue. Um, there's just something about blue that is not my favorite and I rarely work in these colors, but I had to, I had to do like a blue winter theme for winter. And this isn't even like the week winter officially starts. Winter doesn't officially start until this week here, I believe the 22nd. Here, let me check that really quick. Or the 21st. Let's just go to my monthly, um, the 21st. So Wednesday, the 21st, um, this is the week before winter starts, but that's okay. Like, I think it's totally fine to do a winter spread you know, the week before, and then that way I can go back to doing just like a classic um, Christmas spread for this week. And then I'm probably gonna do another um, Christmas spread for this week. And then I'll save my New Year's spread for the first um, full week in January. Oh, and I just realized that this, I have the 26th to the 1st for this planner and I have also the 26th to the 1st for this planner as well. That's interesting. That's because this planner um, starts in January, like the Mickey seasonal one, and then this one started in July, July of this year. Anyways, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you're doing this week for your planner spread, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.